Chances are you've been told to do some core exercises for your low back pain or to create some of that spine stability. Uh, today we're going to be talking about whether you should be bracing or uh, drawing in your stomach, uh, your core muscles specifically, uh, when you do those core exercises. All right, so let's get started. My name is Leon Turetsky, and I'm from backintelligence.com where we help people manage their back pain from home as well as help them fix their postures. So today we're talking about bracing versus the drawing in maneuver or hollowing in your stomach. There's many different ways to look at it. And let me first make sure that you understand exactly what I'm talking about when I'm referring to bracing and drawing in maneuver. So bracing, as you can see me showing here, is when you are basically contracting your abdominal muscles really strongly. So you're, you're kind of pushing it out. You're, you're basically getting ready for, uh, for someone to punch you in the stomach. What would you do? You would contract your abs, okay? You would make your abdominal wall really stiff, really strong. Now the drawing in maneuver or hollowing out your stomach means that you are pulling your stomach in. So it's kind of like uh, you want to bring your belly button back towards your spine. So you're creating space uh, in your stomach. So you're, you're basically uh, pulling in your stomach, pulling in your belly button. Uh, so that's what that refers to. So a lot of people, especially in Pilates, they will tell you to uh, do that for all of the exercises. And uh, so which one is the correct one to do for your exercising? Well, I don't think it's as simple as uh, only do bracing or only do pulling in maneuvers, right? I think there's room for both, okay? Now, I looked at a bunch of uh, research and a bunch of studies. There's a prominent spine researcher uh, by the name of Stuart McGill, and he did a lot of studies where he measured the muscles being activated during different exercises when you brace versus hollowing out. And he found that there's a lot more abdominal muscles engaged during bracing versus the drawing in maneuver. The drawing in maneuver he found was activating the transverse abdominus, which is one of the deepest core uh, muscles. So it did really well for that one muscle specifically, but if you wanna engage your rectus abdominis, your external obliques, your internal obliques, uh, then the bracing activated a lot more abdominal muscles at once. So he's very much into bracing all the time. And, and his, uh, his idea is, you know, don't even do the drawing and maneuver, only do the bracing, okay? And then there are other studies out there that really show that uh, the drawing in maneuver really targets the transverse abdominus and internal obliques quite good, especially the transverse abdominus muscle, which is one of the deepest uh, uh, core muscles. It's the closest one to the spine. So, uh, you know, the question is, shouldn't you want to strengthen that muscle alone as well? And that's where I'm going with this, is that I think there's room for both, okay? Uh, if you're going to do a plank, for example, you can choose on one day to just pull in your stomach while you're doing it, knowing that you're not going to be contracting the, the outer core muscles as much. You know? You're not gonna get the abs working uh, in your favor. However, you'll be targeting that uh, deep, localized muscle, the transverse abdominus, which really is uh, protecting the spine. It's the closest, it's one of the closest core muscles to the spine itself, so it provides a lot of stability for your spine. So knowing that, you can do the plank just, you know, hollowing in your stomach and knowing that's what you're doing that day. And then on another day, when you're doing the plank, you can uh, brace at that point, knowing that now you're contracting the external obliques, the rectus abdominis, the internal obliques, you know, you're, you're putting more emphasis on those other core muscles because you, you really want to target uh, all of those core muscles. They all work together, okay? So I think really you could do both. Now, of course, if you have very little time and you just want to make sure that you get maximum effect for your core exercising, then choose the bracing. 
Another point I want to make is that if you're doing any kind of physical activities, let's say you're running or you're opening the door or you're playing tennis, then I recommend uh, bracing uh, because that's going to give you more of that spinal uh, stiffness that you need for those activities and that's going to prevent any micro movements that your spine might have which can cause pain. Um, however, if you're just sitting or walking, then Drawing in your belly button might be better because you're setting your posture that way because it's very difficult to sit all day trying to contract and brace your core, but you pulling in your stomach a little bit while you sit is very manageable, and I do it myself all the time. So depending on what activity you're doing, one can be better than the other, okay? So uh, I think the pulling in of the stomach is really good for aligning your pelvic and, and your low back uh, because a lot of us have an, uh, an excessive anterior pelvic tilt with, with our low backs being arched, so actually pulling in uh, is, is good for that. And you can also combine the two together a little bit, so you can pull in and contract. Uh, you could also try to do that. Okay? Make sure you're breathing all the time, no matter if you're doing bracing or pulling in, make sure you're still breathing. That's the most important thing. So that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And so what I'm trying to say is that there's room for both, I think, and I do both of them. Uh, and I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Also, if you like this video, please give us a like, as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this. Also, if you'd like us to send you uh, some of the best core exercises that you can do to engage your core muscles and uh, prevent some of that low back pain and, and help you fix your posture, I'd love to send you uh, a free PDF with those exercises. These are safe for your spine core exercises. So if you'd like to get them, there's gonna be a link to get them somewhere here on the video or down below. Just go to that uh, page, enter your email, and we'll send you that PDF completely free. That's it for today, see you next time.